Hi there my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I'm guessing we've all come across this situation where we want to use our materials but unfortunately we can't because there's something wrong with them. It rarely happens but gouache does have a tendency of drying out and jelly gouache is no different. So a few months ago when I went to open my jelly gouache I'd actually forgotten I'd got them, they were stuck on a shelf. I opened them up and they'd all dried out. There was nothing on the lid hardly but yeah the water had evaporated out of the paints and there were just little cakes of dried up gouache. Now if you want gouache, gouache, however you want to pronounce it, yet they were well and truly dried out. So what I did to begin with was I made up a little bottle of, well a little cup full of solution. I used 10 parts distilled water, one part alcohol and one part glycerine. Now the water that I used was to replace the water that obviously had already evaporated out of the uh, paints themselves. I added the alcohol because that's going to prevent the build up of mold or fungus or anything like that so that's a preventable measure and a little bit of glycerine because that helps with the evaporation as well it pre prevents a lot of evaporation so I mixed it in a ratio of 10 parts distilled water one part alcohol one part glycerine um, this little mixture I popped into each little cup of uh, the gouache with a pipette and as you can see that corner one oh my word that was solid so <laughs> I ended up filling each little container right up to the very top with this mixture um, as you can see some colours were uh, less dried out than others but they were all pretty dried out and what I ended up doing was removing each little cup getting a clean um, lollipop stick and then giving it a really good mash up I had a podcast on or some music on I can't quite remember now but I just wowed away an hour or so just uh, probably singing along to some music I can't remember and then popped them all back gave them a quick spray covering again with the mixture which was in this little bottle and as you can see I've made little marks on the side for when it needs um, replenishing so that's 10 parts water, one part alcohol, one part glycerine uh, so I gave it a quick spray before I shut the box up and lo and behold about a month later I ended up using some other gouache for another project. Look at that, pristine paints. And I didn't put the palette back in because I realised it was the palette that was actually stopping the lid from closing. So now all I do is before and after a painting session, I give the paints a quick spray before and a quick mix with some cocktail sticks. And then at the end of a painting session, I gave, just give the paints another spritz over with that mixture, pop the lid back on, pop it back on the shelf, and it's good to go next time. And I'm really pleased to say that the paints are acting beautifully. It's not affected the process at all. The paints are still nice and opaque. Nothing's changed at all. There's no aroma, no mold, no fungus buildup. Um, they're perfect yeah the opacity the color vibrancy all brilliant that's it for today and um, bye for now